happening, everybody? It's the Pirate Stacker. Welcome to the show. It's Friday. Uh, stuff is going on. I got my examiny smart guy glasses on because things are happening today. Strange things are happening today. Um, this today started when I went to the gas station this morning. Uh, they only accepted cash, had a note on the door, no cards. Uh, interesting. Now I did go to Lowe's, they still accepted my card. But then I went to Checkers to get lunch and they were only accepting cash. And at that point I go, well, this is interesting. What it, what a change that is because uh, we know they've been loving not accepting cash, right? The whole 2020, everything broke out and everyone was like, no, we don't want cash. It's dirty. It's diseased. It's got infections. And it was the biggest farce ever. And so now when I go in, I go, oh, look, look at that. Good thing Pirates got cash on him. Um, interesting. So... I get home, I start working, I start listening to a few of my shows, a few of my people. Turns out there is a global system down. Tech is down. Uh, Cloud Strike, some big IT company that runs servers around the entire world uh, is down. And it is interesting because it does seem like this stuff always happens on a Friday, right? <laughs> Strange. Um, I guess there is reports of ATMs that are down. Uh, it's certain processing systems that are down, not all of them, but big name ones, um, you know, Apple and SquarePay and some of them, um, but some others as well. Interesting stuff. Now, me being me, I start to dig a little further. And, uh, well, let me just show you, let me just show you where things led to next, in my mind. So I immediately am like, what else is going on recently? Uh, gold hit a new all time high, 2480, like three days ago. Uh, since then, boom, full tumble, right? Full tumble, we're down to 23.97. Now that's not huge, but I mean, we're pushing a hundred bucks worth of fall in three days. Pretty significant, right? So what's, what's silver doing? Exact same thing. You know, we were 31.20 three days ago. We're down to 29, 29.14 right now. Does that have anything to do with this? Well, I don't know. I don't know, but that stuff starts running away and then suddenly some tech thing and some other things start happening and everything's coinciding with things being down, things crashing, banks closing. Uh, kind of interesting. I don't know how to correlate the two, but one should not affect the other you wouldn't think or I would think the opposite I think banks closing processing processing system failures would make metals climb right I mean that's that's what makes sense in my mind so I check out Neil McCoy Ward he's a guy I like to watch smart guy and uh, he does a lot of you know he just releases factual stuff shows where he gets his data from um, real interesting, he posted up a video today, uh, an hour before the global world kicked down, the Bank of England, which is a huge, huge bank, it shut down an hour earlier, out of nowhere, out of the blue, during business hours, shut down an hour before everything else crashed down. And he is very careful about connecting those dots. 
Um, apparently there are several banks closed. Other people are saying there's grocery stores closed. They can't take payment. Uh, different things of that nature. I don't know if that's happening where you're at. Like I said, I hadn't noticed anything shut down, but places were not accepting card payments. Um, super disruptive, right? Very odd. And this is one of those things. I mean, why, why do we hire, why do so many places hire one company to handle everything? And I guess there's airlines that have grounded, like there's a bunch of stuff. And it, the claim is it's not a cyber attack. Although I don't know that they would tell us if it was, um, you know, which I mean, I guess that's supposed to make us feel better. Like it's not a cyber attack. It's just us being inept at our job. Like this is what we do for a living and we failed. Um, that doesn't make me feel better, but it does make me question the system. What is happening? I would expect there to be issues like this. If they're trying to put a new system in place, if they're trying to do a lot of things, I don't expect them to be forthcoming and telling us. I expect them to shut things down, implement the system, do what they want to do, tell us very little, leave us in the dark about it. Like this is pretty naturally government MO, right? This is how they operate. So where does this lead me to today? My video right now? Well, we as stackers, many of us are preppers. And, you know, luckily we keep some cash aside. If you don't, you should. You know, I'm not sweating going to the bank. Um, not today, you know, and, and that's good. Uh, but it's one of those things beyond that. They can shut the spigot off at any time, guys. And that may come with closing the bank doors, closing the grocery store doors, closing any of that. And if you don't have a backup, it could be tough for you and your family. That's, that's really the gist of it. Uh, I don't got to go to a grocery store for months. They could dry that well right up and I'm fine. I feel great about that. I love that. Um, you know, this is, this is one of those things. If you've got medications, make sure you've got a little extra. If you've got water, make sure you have extra. If you've got cash, try and get a little extra. You know, put some of this stuff aside because when something bad does happen, we're gonna get no notice. They're gonna shut it all down. They're gonna say, whoops, we're sorry. There's nothing we can do to help you. We'll check back with you in a week or two when the government catches back up. That's how it works. And thankfully we're in America and we're not at a war here on our continent or it would be horrific. It would be like nothing we've ever seen. You know, those things close and they don't reopen. Your bank shuts down and you have no access again at all. So, Let's be mindful, let's make sure silver, gold, yeah, those things are fantastic. I love them, just like you do. Make sure you're prepared in all the other ways as well. The world's a crazy place, right? Trump assassination attempt, politics in general. They're saying Biden's gonna step down. I'm sure they'll put their own new person up. The world is uncertain to say the least. We're seeing things we don't normally see, and we're gonna to continue to see those things because these are in uncertain times. Um, so again, be prepared, get prepared. It doesn't take a lot to put a little extra to the side, you guys. It just doesn't. And if you're contemplating, hey, maybe I should get a side gig going. Maybe I should try not having all my eggs in one basket. Maybe I should pick up those $1 DVDs in case all the uh, internet and everything else cuts out and I don't have any kind of entertainment anymore. I mean, these are like simple little things. If you keep yourself from going there, don't. Let your mind go there, wander a little bit. It's not gonna hurt you to 
Spend 10 bucks on $1 DVDs. It's not the end of the world. I don't have to have those, but it makes things comfortable when things do go down. Here in Florida, we get storms. You know, we lost power for two weeks a couple years ago. I hated it. Well, now I have a generator. I've got an AC unit. I've got TVs and battery packs and things that can run that stuff. You know, you live and you learn. And if you're not learning, then you're not doing it right. We all make mistakes. We all experience things differently and at different times. And all you can do is learn. Learn and grow. That's it. That's all we're after. I hope you guys have a great Friday. I was going to just do this for my channel members. This is the kind of stuff I like to post on my channel. But I just felt like it was a good reminder for everybody. Assess your preps. Assess your situation outside of the norm. Are you ready? Are you comfortable? Should you pick up an extra gallon of water and throw underneath a bed or in a closet? Is it going to hurt you to do that? Some of you need to do that. And, uh, and you know, I just want to get you guys thinking about it today. That's it. Nothing crazy. Have a great weekend, you guys. That's it for me. The pirate is out. Arrgh. <laughs>